All right, so we're going to use number disks to understand how to multiply 4 times 267. I'm not going to use the standard algorithm at all. I'm just going to use number disks at this point. And the way we're going to think about it is I'm going to make a hundreds, tens, and ones chart. So there's my hundreds, tens, and ones. And then I'm going to model what 267 would look like. So 267 is going to look like 260 and 7. There's my 267. So can you see that? That's 200s, 6 tens, so that's 60, and then we have 7 ones, so 267. Now this 4 times 267 means I need four copies of this, so I'm going to do that real quick. Oopsies. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to do another um, copy. So I'm going to do, there's another 267. So that's two copies. Now I have another copy. And I need a fourth and final copy. So there's 267. All right. So I hope you see that, that there's my four copies of 267. So now the idea is, okay, we're going to uh, do some regrouping because we know that any time you have 10 dots in one column, you can exchange it for one dot in the next larger column. So if I look up here, I've got seven here. So all I have to do is, let's see, I have to just add, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can add these together. There's my ten. So those ten dots, I'll just bring it up here equals 110. So those 10 ones equals 110. So I can kind of cross those off. And then I can do the same thing right here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So those 10 dots, let's see, where am I? 1, 2, 3, whoa, right here. <laughs> so there's my my 10 ones right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So those 10 ones equals 110. And I, it doesn't really matter where I put it. I'll put it right here, 110. And I do not have any, uh, I don't have enough ones to equal another 10. So I have, let's see, I have this little one hiding out here these five plus these two. So I have eight ones left over, and I can put that right there. So now I can look at my tens, and I can see that I've got one here, five here, one here, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll do it in green now, just to, no, I'll do it in blue just to be different. So let's see, I've got seven, eight, nine, ten. So these right here, these 10 equals 100. So those 10 tens equals 100. So I need to count another 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so those 10 tens equals 100. And I don't have enough tens left over to make another hundred, so what do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, plus this one is six. So I have six tens left over. And now it's time for me to count my hundreds. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I have ten hundreds. So I can either just write down 10 and be done. But if I really, really wanted to, I could say, well, okay, so um, I can cash. Uh, let's see, I'm going to scooch this aside. 
And I can say, well, here's my thousands. And I know that I can cash in all 10 of my hundreds to equal a single thousand right here. So I can cash in these hundreds to get a thousand. So what am I left with? I am left with zero hundreds and I'm left with one thousand. So my final answer is one thousand sixty eight. Now remember, this is just using the number disks to, to uh, model what's going on with this multiplication. This is not the fast way. The, mul the algorithm, the traditional algorithm is the fast way. Uh, but uh, right now I'm just showing you how to use these dots to make um, a little bit of sense of that multiplication.